Welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT, Rashid's Radio to in conjunction with RJ, Rashid's Music to Black Center. Reading out loud, Rashid's reading out loud. Let me write this down one fast so we don't forget that. Let's see. Let's see. Y'all should be seeing it on the screen. Get it aloud. <laughs> uh, out loud. Aloud. Now check that phrase out with y'all. Now that's our university right there. Say it's not. Say it's not. Reading aloud. Reading out loud. It's the same thing. Now that's a hard university shit, baby. Say it's not. Alright, it is. And how are you? You ready to do this? Guys, I came across... Now, check it out. I came across this, uh, this article. And, um... The Militant Banker. And it was the same on here. I was looking, I was browsing through some pictures. Now, I came across this one right here. To that guy who made a fat joke about me to my boyfriend. Wow. Well, it's kind of a turn on. It is. It is. And you can see wine glasses. You can see they drink some wine in the background there. So obviously how my boyfriend, you know, had a drink before this. So they into some really stuff, but the article itself is interesting because it has had to do with fat shaming. I don't know about you guys, but when I was coming up, I I had a rough time with my body, you know, because in the projects, you know, in the hood, what they call the hood, but in the fucking ghetto, dude, the food is just so delicious. It's almost impossible to go on a diet. Because then you have to add the fact that you go to the stores and the, and the shit is so cheap. I still lost weight in the projects. And, and if you can lose weight in the projects, you can lose weight. In, like, the, like the song saying in New York City. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. You know, if you can lose weight in the projects, you can lose weight any fucking way on the planet Earth. It's just that simple. And I achieved that. Not too many people did. But then, we, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're on the social media thing. How do you feel being a woman? Being on top of you. And this overweight thing. Does that bother you? Or it doesn't bother you at all? You love the way you look. You see how confident the uh, Sadiqia woman is? She's trying to love the way. No complaints whatsoever. That's good. That's good. Oh, uh, well, that's the way we are. We are. We're very confident. And this article here is interesting that she would do this <laughs> because of what incident she been through when she was out with her hubby, with her boyfriend, or someone like that, you know? So, we're going to read it and, uh, you know, and give your your professional expectations of it, I suppose. They did guy who made a fat joke about me to my boyfriend. Fuck you. <laughs> no, actually, it says fuck, then it's a period, then it's a you, then it's another period. So it's like, fuck you. Sincerely, the hot fat chick with the baby guy. <laughs> Fucking cool, though. This isn't necessarily a discussion about street harassment, though it could be. This isn't a discussion about people who have nothing better to do than antagonize strangers. This isn't even a, a really this this isn't even really a discussion about my obviously cellulite legs, but rather it is a discussion about something that needs to be brought into the into the open. The shaming of men who find themselves attracted to a typical woman while dating in our fat, fatophobic society. 
this is a this is a discussion about why this situation is so fucked up and needs to change now. This is a discussion about why this situation is so the so is kept all caps. So it's, this is a discussion about why this situation is so fucked up and needs to change now. Let me explain. I was out with my new boyfriend the other night and as we headed back to our bikes, stupidly drunk dude accosted my him with the jamming question. So, you're out hunting for cellulite tonight. Guys, I really get angry about this sort of criticism. I am the proud recipient of copious amounts of hate mail, often with the subject line, you're fat and ugly and an embarrassment to society. This ignorant opinion rolls off my back easily nowadays, but for some reason this recent experience has me fucking pissed. It could be because I was already in the middle, in the midst of a bad body day when it happened. Or maybe it's because after my boyfriend restored, re retorted back, stupidly drunk dude followed us down the avenue shouting a slew of ho horrid, homophobic remarks at him. It could be the fact that my boyfriend was rudely pulled into the ugly world of fat discrimination in which I feel he doesn't belong. It could be the fact that the comment came from a man was said to a man and this somehow made it hurt more. Or maybe it's just because it surfaced a large amount of shame in regards to the subject I feel passionately about. How unaccepting our world is, our world is of the pairing of traditional attractive bodies with non-traditional ones. Either way, this is an opportunity to talk about a hard subject. So let's pull this shit out into the carpet and address it head on, shall we? <coughs> Interesting. What's my opinion about it so far? Good question, sweetie. What's my opinion about this so far? Okay, so far, I like how she has the the uh, dance, the, the the strength, the courage to share this with us online. And she wanted to be noted as the bitch with the with the um <laughs> cellulite ass. I think it take a lot of nerve to do something like this. I know. I know. Being an ass man myself, you know. So just just speaking in general, you know, I I think I think it, this is a really uh, uh encouraging thing to do. Being an ass man myself, I really know. So what do you think of like that? Eh, same. Okay, mutual. When the world looks at a sexy man with a fat woman, there are uh, many assumptions that he is setting. There, there are many assumptions that he is setting that he would prefer something else, but is forced to date a lesser lady. That he has a questionable fetish. That he is a perverse abomination. That there is something inherently wrong with his sexual preference. But just as I state in the original Lustworthy article, all bodies can be paired with all bodies. All bodies can be paired with all bodies. Not in a pain, but rather in fact. Fat with fat. Thin with thin. Fat with thin. Thin with fat. And everything in between. This may seem obvious, but it's something that our culture struggles with on a fundamental level. I remember so vividly scrolling through body positive tumor sites in the beginning of my self love journey and being shocked, stunned, and yet enthralled when I when I came across single when I came across images 
of fat women and their thin boyfriends. Hmm. Most of these images were intimate with obvious attractions coming from the men. My brain broke just a little bit as I tried to wrap my mind around the fact that this existed in the world. I didn't know this was an opinion. And, but you know what, sweetie? We didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know either. We didn't. We had no idea or something that it was that it, that this is an impenetrable subject. It's kind of new. That's kind of different. That's kind of different. Once I saw these, I started to see this pairing everywhere. From the epic exogene erotic lover letters from the size friendly boyfriend to the heart wrenching poem Ten Honest Thoughts on Being Loved by a Skinny Boy. I became more and more aware that it's not an uncommon pairing because and I'll repeat myself, all bodies can be paired with all bodies. Okay, what about man tits? What about man tits? Are you a home now? Let me say this. Let me get this off. Let, let me say this. I know you. I know you're gonna stop laughing, but let me say this. Now let's talk serious. Are you a homosexual if you a man got man tits and like a massage if you having sex? Does that make you homosexual? Because you like your woman to suck your tits. Does that make you homosexual? Right, that's what I'm saying. It it it, it means it's what is homosexuality then? Right, and does it fit that? Now man tits some men have man tits and they like them to be massaged by their women. And I'm I'm guilty I'm guilty in a way when it when it happens. No, I'll be honest. I I mean who don't who don't like nipple play? Okay. Nipple play. But here's the thing, here's the thing. How does she feel? No, baby, you are a decent woman. I'm not talking about you. And I know you're going to laugh at that. Because, I'm, yeah, I'm about to spill this shit. You don't know what's going through her head. <laughs> does that mean she like lesbianism? If she does that? A woman, I bet you feel funny, don't it? But that's just a personal... When I say funny, I mean she feels inadequate, don't it? I, I, I would say she feel like... Um, like like women like to be needed. They have breasts, you know. They don't need a man's breast. So, in my opinion, she feels inadequate. In my opinion, I can just tell. At least with me. At least with me, for obvious reasons, probably. It's like, um, she, I don't got, I ain't got no milk coming out my shit. I never had no milk coming out my. Yeah, you know, some women have milk. I had, I had my wife, you know, lactate sometimes like that for some strange reason. Yeah, all of a sudden she has milk coming out. So I don't know if a woman like to play with a man, her husband's man tits. So she like lesbianism, <laughs> and for a man, so he has a little bit homosexual. Because as you, as you, as men know, and y'all hear me, I'm a man myself, and y'all know that shit feel good. It's a motherfucker and a woman massaging your man tits, dude. Now don't fuck around with me. Don't fuck around. Don't you? Stop lying all your life. When your woman, you know, some men out there laugh and think that shit funny. When your woman squeezing your man tits and sucking, they you you turn bitch. You know you turn bitch. You hear go back and you feel. It. Let me shut up. Let's all right. Cause I don't want to fuck around. I don't want to. Oh, there I go again. There I go again with the fucking mouth. There I go. Okay, let me go ahead and just um. Cause next thing you know, next thing you know, some shit. So, okay. But like she said, she will repeat herself. All bodies can be paired with all bodies. I agree with that. I agree with that. All bodies can be paired with all bodies. Like I said, even a man with man tits. With hair on, the way Scarfy said at the dinner table. 
<laughs> with hair on them. We're hair on them. We're hair on top of them. We're hair on top of them. Hey, let's check this out. We're hair on top of them. <laughs> it's all kind of um, um, uh, grammar, Rubik's Cube, light, what's going on here. Let's call it grammar. Let's make that word a grammar Rubik's Cube language. That's what it is that's going on here with this shit. A grammar Rubik's Cube language. That's what this is. So anyway, continuing on with the um with this woman's um plot plight. Bodies, like you said, bodies can be paired with other bodies. Though that night was tainted by though that night was tainted by hate. It's important to note that in general we get an overwhelming amount of positive feedback as a couple. Friends and strangers alike are drawn to us in a way I can't explain. There is something magnetic about our pairing, so much so that unfamiliar women in Greek restaurants Sing our praises and give us flowers because we are such a beautiful sight. Yes, I'm glad you asked. I believe that because me and my wife, she's Japanese. You know Marie was Japanese. And when we would go out, we would get some things also like from people who see us all the time and stuff. So it does, you, they, they, they couple fans. You know? They marriage fans. If you're not married, they couple fans. They like they like you. They like seeing you and your wife together, or seeing you and your boyfriend together. They you like a fan. They like so they you like their celebrities. So they couple fans. So we had them. So that's what she's talking about. You get couple fans when they see y'all two together. They go, oh, there y'all go. You know, they fans. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Especially if she got fat, juicy ass. Just saying. Just saying, I ain't starting no trouble. I'm just saying. Oh, you gonna get a couple fans, dude. No doubt about no fucking doubt about it. You gonna get a fucking fan, dude. Especially that fat ass. You gonna you gonna get a couple fans. Now anything on a man, so I don't know how good that rock. But I know a woman, I'm talking about. And a man I don't know. If he got bulls in his pants, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. You gonna get it if y'all look good. How about the yeah, let's just say you gonna get it if you look good. Damn, why everything gotta be the fucking pink panther around here? Everything is not the pink panther. So anyway, carrying on. This is an interesting art. Yeah, this whole thing is interesting. You looking at my wife's ass, you looking at my husband's thing, you looking at my my wife's legs or she, you, they looking at your wife, and then they go back and make fun of her with, with they point with his friend, and his friend is your, is her husband. And men ain't gonna say nothing. Well, they make fun. Of, they, women do the same thing to men. If my wife got a a girlfriend over the house, I walk in the door, and if something like that, she say to my, she wouldn't tell my wife. She would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I've been. I, I'm glad you asked that question. I wouldn't. I've been in a situation. I was. I was with a girl over the house, and I mean, I was with my best friend, and his woman walked by, and I never made no comments at all, at all, at all, because that's respect. I don't know. That's just my shit, though. That's just me. I don't know. I know how God think though. So if that happened, you know. I think it's commonplace. I think it's commonplace. It's not like stepping over the boundaries of, of being laid with disrespecting, but I just think it's commonplace in some in some situation. But I never personally did it. I never did it. No, I never did it. I did it I did it in my mind. Don't don't stop laughing shit. I know everything I say I go back and correct it, but it's true. I did it in my mind. Dude, I did it in my mind. Look at that. 
Even to my aunt. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's another story. We don't want to go there. You know, this ain't the back of a cereal box, and let's just move on. Fuck all the statistics shit, okay? Alright, let's move on. I don't got my buddies. No, let me see this shit. They white. Okay, they white. They white. They white in America, whatever, and they got any women. I don't know these women. And the women come up and pick them up and stuff like that. And one of them, we got really, really close. Like, we just like to talk. And for some reason, my buddy, who was white, it turned to war. He liked me talking to his wife. I think he really liked it. He used to, like, take his time with so me and I just talk. And he, it, like, he turned to war. And guess what? I turned off over. I did. I did. I liked it, too. We are talking about the white woman now, you know. Yeah. But I'm guilty as charged. I think she's the only one that this that likes that stuff. I was into that. I'm all fine for the three thing in bed though. Because of spiritual reasons, you know, spirituality. You know? It turns on one. It turns him on. It's like he likes me talking to his girl. And she, and she come on, she's the way these shorts, all, all, all white air. I'm like, oh my. And he liked him. Like, yeah, but she loves her. That's the way he was. And guess what? I was with that shit. And, and it happened a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm trying to say is, is yeah, it's opinionable. The, what she's saying, it's a pain. It's a pain. It depends on the individual, and it depends on the situation. You know, it depends on the individual, and it depends on the situation. And, and it's very uh, important not to overstep and disrespect. And, and then I think it's commonplace. That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. So while we normally receive the opposite reaction, I really had a difficult time with the with this street harassment experience. My gut reaction was insta shame. I found myself so self conscious and I irrationally afraid that my boy would all of a sudden realize that I was fat. Now that it was pointed out and become a shame of his choices. But real talk, he's already aware of this fact. Duh, right? And he loves it. Not because I'm, novel, not I'm a novelty. Not because I'm a fetish. But because he simply finds me attractive as I am. It's that simple. True. That's true. Yeah, that's true. So make no mistake. I have a fat body. That's that is often worship. But I am not necessarily worship for my body fat. To find my body attractive is not unusual. Unusual. To find my body attractive is not unusual, strange, or bothersome. And it is mostly certain not a sign of mental instability. I am so much more than an object for specific obsession. I'm more than a category for things that some may find uncomfortable. That's what she got written here. Yeah. I'm more I'm more than a category for things that may I know what she's trying. Yeah, we know what she's trying. Finding me gorgeous doesn't automatically mean you have a fat fetish or an issue with your sexuality. It can mean that I'm simply sexy and you recognize that. I know I'm going to blow your mind with this truth, but this isn't weird at all. In fact, it happens all the time. So me being shocked by those Tumblr images, well, 
that was a crying shame. World, let the odd pairings be. Just because you may not prefer larger women doesn't mean there is something wrong with those who do. And these men deserve the opportunity to express this and act on it without our public shade they often receive. The reality is a man's opinion is and worth is not to be questioned or determined by the size of his partner's waist. So get the fuck over it. Now, if you'll excuse me, my cellulite and I have shit to do. <laughs> Nicely put. Nicely put. And she had tons of comments about it. This one, uh, this Amber girl commented and said, Hey, guess what boobies are made, made of? Fat. And she got LOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what she said. That's what she said. Yeah, hey, guess what boobies are made of? Fat. And then she put LOL. So anyway, that was a reading that we found, and I came across another, uh, well, she's reading aloud. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to add before we go? Alright, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Talk to you later. Bye.